Matt Canning, BodybuildingPro.com. We are here at the 2014 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. I'm with Scott Herman of ScottHermanFitness.com. Now, Scott, I posted some videos this weekend, and one of the people responding was a guy named Bi Bear Fan, and you know, bisexual and a disproportionate number on my page just based on the content that I post. I've never made it an openly gay page or anything like that. You run a fitness page, a general fitness page, but it just so happens you're an ally to the gay community. You have a lot of followers that are gay, and you've kind of said that before that you're an ally. You don't. It's not. It's not that it's a gay fitness page, but it's it's that you're an ally and you've discussed that. Tell me a little bit about your experiences with that. Yeah, so, I mean, growing up, I was always the kind of guy who stuck up for the little guy. If I saw someone being bullied at school, it didn't matter what the reason was, I would jump in. I always took it personal when I saw someone else being picked on. And for me, it's because I was picked on as a kid. And I always looked up to my superheroes. And I realized quickly that when it didn't matter what the problem was, if somebody was being hurt, they jumped in, they saved the day. And I guess I wanted to adopt the mentality. And when I made my way onto the real world, you know, I was still like oblivious of the gay community. Like I knew what gay was, but I just, you know, it never occurred to me like there was a difference between like even at my gym when I was 18 years old, I was the only trainer who had a lot of gay clients. It's because I didn't care. Like I just I treated them the same as I would treat anybody. So your parents teach you when you're a kid, treat everybody the same. And so when I was on the real world, we had our first transgendered castmate. We did a lot of work with the LGBT community. And what I adopted quickly, what I quickly saw from all of this is that it was just a community being bullied. And I'm all about anti-bullying. And so my role as a, as a straight ally kind of started from there because I, you know, I, I saw what was happening to Caitlin, my roommate, and I didn't like it. I took it personal because she was my friend. And so from the show, I kind of gained a large gay following from there unintentionally just for doing what I've always done, which is stick up for the person being bullied. And so ha that's followed me now through my entire career. And even on like my Facebook page, you know, I'm flattered when someone compliments me, whether it's a male or a female. And what I've noticed is I have a lot of respect from the gay community in that even when they leave a comment, sometimes they might be a little over the top, but I don't lash back like and call them names or say like, hey, that's inappropriate. I'll say, hey guys, you know what? We have young kids in our page. I, you know, I really appreciate the compliment, but let's keep it classy. And so what I've noticed, and even the other day I posted a meme on my Facebook, and it was the rules of the gym, and the, the fourth rule was, under any circumstances, will dudes not touch other dudes' biceps in the gym, like flexing? And it never came it never crossed my mind that that would be like a negative thing towards the gay community, because in my mind what I'm thinking is, yeah, when beginners go to the gym, you know, they already might be intimidated by the, the, the weight floor. They don't want to see dudes like flexing and like being bros. And that's how it came across to me. And some people took it, you know, a little too far. And, you know, they were, they were gay, they're LGBT. And they're like, oh, that's so, you know, that's so inappropriate towards the LGBT community. So I actually did a post and I was like, hey guys, like that was not my intention. And I explained what I just explained to you. And, the feedback that I got in the comment section from my gay fans were like, oh, don't worry about it. Like, we know you're an ally. We appreciate you. You do a lot for us. And, you know, whether you're, whether you're gay or you're being bullied for being different, I would like to think that if I'm there, I'd be able to do something to help. And that's how I've pretty much grown my brand as an individual, as just all-around guy trying to teach fitness and make sure people are always helping each other. You know, Scott is a very friendly guy. 2011, he granted me an interview with him, and he didn't even know me, so I've gotten to know him very well now. And there's something about uh, a straight guy that has a good rapport with the gay community. I take it as a compliment when my gay friends compliment me, when they try to touch my arms. So, some, so, so, sometimes it's a little, you know, but, but there's the fine line, I guess. But I take it as a compliment. I have friends that are a bit insecure, and I understand that in the shower. They don't want to be looked at. And I understand. I happen to, it's a compliment to me. So I guess, and I think that the gay community understands that and they, yes. they, with that rapport from some straight men. So I just wanted to ask that question because you have such a following, and as do I on, on my YouTube channel of, of the gay community. So, you know, so far a beneficial experience for myself. So anyway, Scott, once again, great to see you. I know you got to run, so uh, I'll be keeping in touch with you through YouTube, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, Thank man. you. We'll see you at Arnold 2015. For Bye, sure. Guys. Bye.